Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, someone arising for the next couple of weeks of September 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, make sure you're registered at Bill for Call if you want to reach me by phone. It's a separate process. Request a call back, and if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon. I do the Venus sign readings there monthly. Um, and be sure to check me out on TikTok. All right, so the overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords, the World, Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Strength, and Five of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like something's going on where maybe there's some snooping or lurking going on, especially if you have been blocked or if you blocked somebody. They're still lurking. Um, it looks too like you are trying to, um, start a new chapter in your life and maybe you're ready to let go or move on from the past, but it still seems like the past is still watching or haunting you. Um, I also feel like something's going on where maybe you are planning to take a, se a secret trip uh, or you're traveling in secret or there's something about a s secret traveling going on. Mm. I do feel like there's new beginnings in your life, new chapters, um, just maybe opportunities to start fresh just focusing on the love part though it just you might have two options to choose from could be air could be fire maybe both of these people have put themselves out there towards you and left you to decide also could be water though cancer scorpio pisces um something's looking like i feel like somebody already said something though or let it be known how they felt and was met with rejection. Um, I feel like maybe someone is ignoring somebody because they got ignored or rejected or someone's ego or pride is in the way. Um, it also could be that maybe someone's been trying to apologize or you know, explain something to you, but your ego won't let you hear it. You're like, no, I don't want, no, thank you. I don't want to deal with it. Um, it seems like regardless, you are deciding to pass up opportunities for love. And I'm not sure why. Now, it could be because you're in a relationship. So because you're in a relationship, even though these are two uh, tempting offers or they look attractive, you're like, uh, you know, I can't. I'm in a relationship. I'm loyal. Um, loyalty first and so you end up rejecting whoever has expressed uh, interest in you uh, even if you do have romantic feelings uh, for them or if they have romantic feelings for you now I feel that someone's also trying to insert like their feelings like they're trying to secretly insert their feelings are, I guess, basically just communicating with you indirectly. They're trying to let you know or hint to you that they have feelings for you, but they can't like fully express that. I really feel like that's starting to be what's going on is that um, your love interest might be in a relationship and that's why they're not interacting or talking to you. Or vice versa, you know, you're in a relationship and you really are attracted to somebody, but you're like, I can't. Um, it, 
and the the crazy thing is is that it's it's like even though I feel like somebody is being rejected, they're still being spied on. So it may be, you know, like let that energy go or it needs to be cut off or something or let the person move on. Let them move on. Um, I feel like you are not going to get an answer or response from somebody. And I feel like somebody is just like leaving you out in the cold. Mm. For whatever reason, somebody is choosing to hide their feelings or protect their feelings. Maybe someone is more so concerned about being hurt and they're like, no, like I need to protect my feelings uh, or I don't know if I can trust you, like you might not do right by me. Somebody could just be playing hard to get just to see how serious you are. Somebody seems to be hiding something from you or you might be hiding something from somebody. Some sort of messages or a conversation. Like someone is still holding on to it but it's, it's like locked away or there's a code needed um, to read some sort of conversations. Somebody may be trying to go on your phone or figure out your passcode or you are trying to do that. Mm. Also looks like somebody may be trying to get your attention. <sighs> yeah, it looks like somebody may be trying to get your attention by any means necessary. Um, even if they're being rude, like I kind of feel like somebody's being rude. And they're like, well, at least it got their attention or at least it got a reaction. I also get the energy of people who are being petty with each other or taking indirect indirect jabs at each other. Somebody's thinking about reaching out to you, but they haven't done it yet. Mm -hmm. So there is some sort of indirect communication still going on. I feel like this has happened before. I do also feel like someone wants revenge or someone may be holding a grudge. You also may find yourself trying to keep yourself distracted or like entertaining yourself with people who you know you're not interested in. Just to not think about what you really want or maybe it is revenge to try to hurt the other person and yes the story can go the other way around there may be a fire sign that is trying to move on from you or like there was some sort of broken trust or something was 
too complicated. They may have let you go because they didn't feel secure and maybe they wanted to move towards the person that they had security with. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you are the one that decided to ignore your heart and focus on the person that was giving you security. Somebody is really emotional, but they hide it well. Uh, yeah, I feel like someone is really controlled with how they come off emotionally. Uh, they, this person feels the need to put on a strong front uh, or to be strong for other people. Um, but I feel like in, on the inside, they're really struggling with some sort of emotional wounds, abandonment issues, trust issues. Someone is also still longing for their twin flame or thinking about their twin flame, or if it's not a twin flame, they're still thinking about some sort of spiritual bond that they share with somebody. I feel like somebody is like, you know what, it's best that I let you go or best that I move on from you. Yeah, so it's, it's either taking a lot of strength to walk away from a situation that's unfulfilling or a lot of strength to have the courage to speak your true feelings. But I really feel like somebody's trying to walk away um, or avoid communication, avoid eye contact. Um, yeah. I feel like you are not forgiven or someone does not forgive or you don't forgive somebody. Somebody is like, I don't forgive you. I just feel like this is possibly a missed opportunity or someone feels like they missed an opportunity. I don't know if it's you or your person. Um, I feel like someone's checking to see if they got a message and it's like no messages, no response. It's just silent. So even if someone does want to respond back to you or reach out to you, I feel like they're not going to because their pride won't allow them to. They just can't. Um, and then also I kind of feel like something has to do with a relationship. I also see that somebody's trying to find out information about you, but they can't. Or somebody is being blocked or that someone's view is limited. If you've been trying to express how you feel to somebody, I feel like your efforts aren't being noticed at this time. Yeah, definitely looks like somebody is like moving on and letting go and just cutting ties. But that doesn't stop the other person from watching or waiting to see, you know, if 
if they're still blocked or not. Like somebody's like, am I still blocked? Are they, you know, is their page back up? Like somebody keeps checking that. Yeah, so for the most part, I just feel like something's unrequited due to someone's um, ego. So, yeah. Hopefully those messages resonate, but feel free to leave feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sydney Love and Grace.